Hello and welcome back to Zorbus. Um, I don't know how many more of these I want to do, um, but uh, I, I'm still enjoying this game, so I'm going to do this for now. And uh, I mean, this is, uh, you know, over, I'm swapping out CUD for this for a little bit, um, just because, you know, it's nice to change things up a little bit sometimes. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up the man. Do I already have the manual open? Actually, oh god, there there's D and D. There's my D and D. Hold on a second. Um, all right, I got it open now. Uh, I just need to like constantly remind myself um, what some of the key binds are. Uh, I got a couple of questions in regards to like. You know how do classes work how to uh, races work as i understand it there aren't really classes in this game they're just like a, a, a you know selection of skills and stuff it works kind of well i guess it doesn't work like dnd because in dnd you do get cl uh, classes but um it's more maybe more like um uh, forgive me for saying this but uh, dark souls where you just kind of start with an arrangement of of uh, skills and abilities um, someone asked me in my discord, what does body mean? Body describes your physical strength and fitness uh, And in motion is your dexterity agility reflexes and balance and then we have intelligence and, and spirit um, So yeah, that's that's what that means um, I you know, we don't have like like I don't know. I don't want to say like generic, but like we don't have um, our very like uh by the book archetypes here we have like noble leader we don't have like um stuff like uh like a ranger i guess so we have an archer a ranger is a, a bit different a ranger i know rangers more like um you know i guess say this one gets an animal friend so this is closer to your ranger i do want to try something different i don't want to do like archer every time um i wouldn't mind trying like an infernal expert enchanter health surge i do like health surge it's a good um, a good, a good, uh, talent. Um, we've got, this one seems very, like, uh, uh, across the board. Um, like, they, they've got a little bit of everything. So why don't we go with Infernal? And, uh, we're off to the races. we got our player's handbook. We'll pick these things up. Not that we need them, but, you know, it's nice to have them. We have our lizard. So we have a spell this time. Conjures a, conjures forth a fiery ray which deals 2d4 points of fire damage. I wonder if this game is going to be affected under, uh, by the, uh, the OGL 1.1 license. Uh, I, I know people have told me you can't, um, copyright rules, but you can copyright phrasing. Um, so copyright phrasing in the sense, like, you, like in the way you, you <laughs> arrange like 2d4, I'm pretty sure that's like kind of the specificity of the arrangement. So you, you can't copyright like, or trademark i don't know how which what i'm talking about here but like um literally using dice to represent damage but saying 2d4 plus one that could be uh you know there, there's the, the point is is there's some kind of argument there and therefore someone can try and slap a slap a dmca i'm just curious if uh, zorbus is going to be um part of the whole thing but i know that wizards have backed off well what am i even talking about listen it's a it's a very relevant uh, thing that is happening. Oh, I guess I right-clicking um, is is use your spell. Uh, we don't. I, I unfortunately used my spell early, and now okay, yeah. So I'm gonna have to uh, um, reserve my spell for when I'm chasing something down. It's it's you know it's something that is like very uh, very relevant right now. Okay, so this isn't good. I might die in the in our first like phase here. Um, stamina. Okay, so we don't have mana. We have stamina. Uh, good to know. Uh, we're gonna want to maybe pick this up. I should have uh, pressed the button to look at it first. So we have our staff. Our staff has reach on it. Maybe properties two two handed in reach. So it has a 2d4 dpr and then this is 4.1 and it is i'm gonna assume it's one-handed i don't even see any traits this is prop so i don't know this uh, morning star doesn't have any traits um or properties but it is like a straight up more damage so i'm gonna go ahead and swap to it um i don't know like you know people can 
tell me if I'm what I'm doing is right and wrong um, in the comments, but I've been trying my best to uh, play smartly There we go This dagger is 3.5. I mean, I have to assume that it's worth like sw switching up to um, certain uh, Oh, the crocodile is are you angry with me? Uh, switching weapons to get you know higher DPR is better. I obviously some properties are going to be worth keeping over others um, So that is you know good to know this crocodile is Dangerous, but we should be oh no we have a gibberling Okay, I might have made a mistake here. Yes um, We should be okay to take one more hit from them I could just try and uh, and fire ray them down, but it's 2d8, so it might not kill them. We really want to um, hit them when they're like almost dead. Ah, see, that's not really what we wanted to happen. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Uh, I was I was I'm glad that uh, this this is this room is empty, so we're gonna rest until healed. Very important in this game to know when to back off. Um. And certainly when you're being attacked by two separate... Oh, we almost died there. There we go. We managed to, to survive. Alright. The early stages of this game are, are very dangerous. Um, you know, about as dangerous as the late stages of the game. I mean, like, this is how traditional roguelikes go. Um, is your first foray into a dungeon oh god is uh is always going to be spicy oh our stamina is gone that health surge actually like destroys our stamina i forgot about that so we can't use our spell that large crab is going to be a problem um time to use a We'll use a potion of healing. All right, that was that was kind of uh, spicy. Yeah, I mean, like the first few stages of of uh, of the tr your 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 tr trogue like I know people don't like me using that term for some reason. I don't know. Um, are 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 gonna be the spiciest parts, but then like later, you know, when you're fighting things that can kind of take you out in like one turn, you know, that's also very spicy. This is versatile. Um, it can be used one-handed or two-handed. If there's nothing equipped in the other hand, then it, the weapon is used two-handed. What is the benefit of using it two-handed? I wonder if it's kind of like D&D where you get a, a slight uh, bonus. This is, um, this, this weapon is Slash. Oh, we have a sling? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, well, that's actually really good to know. Um... So knowing that I will start using the sling when when uh, available Q I thought Q is our what what button is change weapon sets so you're gonna have to forgive me when I need to refer to the manual here uh toggle auto ammo quick ammo what, what button switch between weapon sets is Q, is W okay so, whoops. Well, I think it's too late now to switch weapon sets. There we go. We have a short sword. Um, this thing is slash. Do you want to get uh, find a weapon that that has uh, both uh, or two different weapon sets? So, okay, good to know. Versatile means you can use it one-handed or two-handed. I'm not sure. Um, I you know, let's do a little bit of experimentation. You know, just a little bit of experimentation. So I'm gonna throw our weapon, our battle axe, in here. Does it have, it doesn't seem to have, uh, it's just 4.1 DPR now. I could, I guess in our offhand, we can only have a, it says one-handed weapon. Is this not a one-handed weapon? I would think that that is a one-handed weapon. I wonder if there's a way to switch, uh, whether or not we are equipping it to our one, uh, our offhand or not. If I hit C... Um, I'm sorry. It's it's a little bit difficult. It's suitable items for equipment Set one offhand. I am um, yeah, it doesn't seem to make it available to me So maybe you can't do it unless you have a certain talent um, 
for uh, for uh, um, dual wielding. It's a bit of a shame, but uh, I, I get it. You know, um, dual wielding is such a like a, a weird thing in D and D in general, tabletop uh, role playing games, because like, you know, it's such a cool thing that you should be able to do, right? But, um, you know, it, it's it's just kind of like not really ever super suitable. I don't know how to put it, but like it just it's never really super available. You either take huge penalty loss. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this door and hope that the fire beetle cannot open it again. Oh, we have a large crab has made an appearance. And they are chasing me down. Um, mostly harmless. We should be able to take them out. This kills the crab. Um, okay, we need to run away. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna health surge. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about that. We're gonna use, uh, my potion of blink. And, and pray. Is that the, that's not the same crab. That is a new crab. I don't want to be here anymore. Crab, can you open doors? Crab movement. I don't know what, uh, what kind of, what do you, what, what kind of damage do you think a crab would be weak to? Slash or blunt? Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Dual wielding, like, you take severe penalties, and I don't super understand why but like I you know I'm not qu questioning it someone someone figured long time ago that um you shouldn't be able to uh you shouldn't really be able to <laughs> hold two weapons without a serious problems so this thing is great um and two-handed or uh 4d 4.3 dpr and then this thing is 4.8 all right, we'll take the mall. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, swap the mall in there, and I could drop. I'll drop the Morning Star for now. Oh, what I could do. Let's have a look, a quick look at the player's handbook here. Um, that's the tutorial. I would really like this to have some like information on uh, some of the more granular mechanics like what are some properties of weapons level loot all right we should uh, we should also use auto explore quick slots switching side panel with a controller I did try playing Zorbus on my steam deck and it didn't seem to work very well tips and tricks Warrior types should search around for better armor and better weapon. You should find enough coins to buy potions of blink healing antidote from Carrillo. I don't, I've never met Carrillo. First dungeon level is meant to be easy. After that, you'll be facing strong. Well, it's not easy so far. On the second level, dungeon level, you will face bigger animals, spellcasters, and creatures with range attacks. There's no need to kill everything. Bears, lions, tigers, and other big animals can be deadly. Carrillo uh, the trading. There are teleporters to Carrillo, the trading demi plane, on a, all dungeon levels. You can recognize these by the dice symbol painted on the floor. Carrillo has shops where you can trade items and a tavern where you can hear the latest rumors. Empty containers where you can store your items. Recruitable creatures that you don't, you haven't yet recruited, or eventually come here. Um, if you have already discovered the teleporter to Carrillo on your current map, you can use autopilot command to automatically travel to the teleporter. Shops on the Carrillo level are automatically set to the map points 1 to 3, so you can use autopilot. Huh. Can be a safe haven to catch a breath. There are items in the game that teleport you directly to them. So that's good to know. Uh, no pockets in a shroud. Use your items. It's fine to hoard up potions and wands, but remember all, also to use them when needed. Rest in peace and darkness. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna, re oh, wait, what? 
close nearby doors and or unlit any near oh you wanna you wanna not have a uh, light hmm instead of the dumb brute try the witty warrior type by having a mind of at least 12 or even 14 you get more skill and talent points per level health surge and potions of endurance stuck in web or slime dual wielding to a dual wield weapon a uh, wield a weapon in each hand you need the dual wield talent which requires motion ability of at least three uh check the shield bash talent which enable okay this is, these, these are good things to know getting locked doors and chests open you need a disable skill carry spare spar, uh, spare equipment give disable skill boosting items so companion use the level loop feature tracking uh anchoring creates a dimensional anchor around the target interesting Okay, well, um, there's some really good stuff in here um, that I would love to learn more about. I guess I, I never made much use of the animal companion um, talent as the ranger. So we found some armor. Uh, I don't know if this is better than what we currently have. Oh, yeah, it, it, it definitely is. And um, I'm going to try and remember what's the auto explore button i always forget these these things all inventory commands um control e exchanging items with companion these are this is inventory loot items from level control enter on an item to mass pick up all items there's a i, I actually really do appreciate how um how much how many quick like uh, um commands how many commands there are in this game it's not really what i mean but you know what i mean like um combos uh cycles through locked doors autopilot straight to the nearest i don't really want autopilot you know what what i want is this this is what i want i keep forgetting that this is an op option auto explore and i'm pretty sure it's control e brings us to the next thing mostly harmless well, this guy, mostly harmless, didn't really cut it before, but we'll try again. Oh, okay. Well, that, that worked out well. Do control E. We got a kobold. Kobold, the big R means they have a ranged weapon. Um, we'll switch to a ranged weapon as well. I did not mean to do that. They just used a healing item. I will get help. You do that. Get help. Switch to our mall. Kill them dead. We have a what on the ground? Scimitar. Meh. Um, rest until our stamina is back. So this is... Uh, I don't know. This is nothing. I don't know what this is. is it, I think P... Summoning chamber. I like the little thing on the top of teleporter. What is two? One, two, and three. I don't know what these are. Stairs down. Let's check out this teleporter. Teleport you to some other place on the same level. Yeah. Let's check it out. So these connect are connected. Cool. Now I don't have to kill everything on the floor but certainly i feel like there is a good incentive to do so oh my god there's a lot of stuff in here uh okay here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let the rat through and then no never mind that was that was a mistake so we got ourselves a method we should be able to take these guys out yeah yeah single single hit kill there we go we gained a nice bit of a chunk of xp there i know i should be like backing up to heal but if i'm like just healing a little bit of health it's not a big deal so this is uh what kind of a room doesn't really say but there's a lot of bodies on the floor what is that whoops i i, I think i woke him up by closing the door i have a dagger alert warn the boss uh, not really much point in switching weapons sometimes because it takes as long uh, for you to switch weapons as it does for them to walk right up to you. 
Let's just do a control E. Uh, stopped autopilot. Oh my God. There's a lot of gibberlings. Okay. Like I said, they're smart. Oh, okay. This is now a problem. This elephant. Will you help me? Elephant? Wow, they're like doing a really good job at surrounding me. So apparently if I stand right in the doorway, that's actually not terrible. We have this mall. The mall should be really good against the skeleton. Oh, this is a zombie. It's a bit different. Okay, that went well. Uh, anything on the ground doesn't look like it rest till healed. We're all good um, Auto explore humanoid skeleton We have a mall so we should be doing really good against skeletons, but they are really tough They seem to just have uh, They are almost dead I think There we go, we got a bastard sword 43 we have ourselves a goblin outcast. Mostly harmless. A tiefling. I'm not a tiefling. Uh, maybe I am a tiefling. I don't know. There we go. We have a flail. Flail is blunt. 3d9. 3.9, sorry. Um, goblin is dangerous color me surprised honestly ah. we have enough for a yeah, we had a, we had enough for a um uh, uh a spell so we're all good there all right we're we're, we're doing all right is there an elephant i don't we can, we still can't tame the elephant right could kill you in two rounds deadly Definitely, I don't want to try and make enemies with the elephant. Ouch. You spring a slime trap. A, a pool of slime appears. And uh, apparently that um, chest was also trapped. Okay, let's switch weapons. Novice adventure. Okay, we took care of that kobold. Um, I do... Whoops. I'm going to switch back. They can open doors. I want to kind of um, put a few doors between me and them. And then rest. I don't know why I'm like competing with other adventurers. You certainly don't look like a winner. You, you Zotards are just getting worse and worse every season. Well, it makes my job so much easier. They are dangerous. Yeah, well, I am also dangerous. And we just got ourselves a longbow. Longbow is uh, not necessarily better than the sling. Um, I'll pick it up. I don't know how many arrows I have. I have uh, some pretty good arrows. Um, hmm... 2d6 or 2.6 i keep saying that wrong 2.6 and this is 1.7 range 7 uh range 8 okay the longbow is just like straight up better i think longbow is two-handed sling is two-handed not that that matters too much so yeah let's switch to the longbow i think that that's just better rest until healed Giant centipede. You know, I, I love me a giant centipede and all, but gets hostile. Well, that's fine. Level up. Nice. Um, so I kind of want to level up our melee. We could like consider dual wield in the future. Continue. Uh, we can't really get anything. It's great reach. 
body 13 motion 13 requires a melee 2 which we just got so we could get great reach next allows you to make reach attacks with two-handed weapons that have the great property that's actually kind of cool we could definitely consider that in the future i'm hoping poison doesn't kill me it did not very good so we have ourselves an altar oh uh oh oh these dang foxes every time Every, every time with these dang foxes. Don't like those sounds. Not one bit. Okay. Control E. We got ourselves a Zert. A Zvart. Um, yep. Yeah. Do some more. Control E. Uh, Goblin Outcast instant death for them Ooh, a warhammer uh this has blunt and pierce which i do like uh, i like having both it is versatile but it doesn't have the great stat right now we have the great stat and it does do more does more damage so i guess i'd rather specialize for now oh the sturge hate me a sturge nice that went very well kill oh we did we barely missed well we didn't actually we didn't miss let's just uh no never mind okay we have actually we, we did gain some more stamina after i leveled up so um whoops wrong weapon set i have enough stamina now to cast a spell twice which is very nice uh we have on the ground a what a dagger okay you're gonna see my mouse um make uh, little appearances occasionally okay i don't know what the deal is sometimes they're hostile and i guess i just like invaded their personal space enough that they were they were kind of done with me i i have i always go with the pol the belief this is not necessarily true that spells are um Spells are more likely to hit than oh, we have a homunculus um, than than like shooting something because it seems to me well I, this is at least true for um, this, we got some good stuff here this is true for magic missiles magic missiles are like a guaranteed hit right so it you know but I know that uh, for like casting spells. Uh, and you know in D and D at least you it's not a guarantee that you're actually gonna hit something because you still have to make like a roll to attack So um, Okay, this, this this is fine I don't know why we're oh ow ouchies Um, uh, let's do a health surge. It'll kind of destroy my stamina, but let's uh, go to this teleporter. Oh, taking some real chances here. Oh God, I'm um, almost dead, and I don't have a health surge. Please, please do not die to a halfling. Oh my god, I'm gonna die to a halfling, aren't I? I'm, I have no more room. Okay. Kill him. Could kill you in one round. Well, hopefully... Okay, we can fire ray them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple shots on them as they approach. And then I'm gonna flame them. Yeah, I can't believe how close to death we came there. That was really, really silly. 
head back there. We have some stuff to pick up on the ground. Uh, I don't know if control E actually is like go to treasure or whatever, go to pick up stuff. Uh, auto explore nearest explored. Okay, control E is con to continuously auto explore. It keeps exploring to a hostile creature. Okay, so that's not necessarily what we want. There's a way to auto explore to like nearest item. Auto explore picks up items and you would that you would normally auto pick. Okay, first from the current area that you're in, then after. Okay, so it should have picked up stuff. So I'm good. We're now at the point where we can start hitting skeletons hard. And let's swap to our longbow. Nice. I don't know what gluttony is. What's going on over there? Nice. We have a Zorbo. Small carnivorous bear. Right, I, I remember the Zorbo. We have, a, we have studded leather. Studded leather might actually be better. Yeah, it is actually better than what we're currently using. However, you notice it has a magic negative five or something. So that is actually um, relevant to us this time. I'm a little bit concerned about that. We have a war pick. Isn't the war pick pretty good? It is blunt and pierce, but it's only uh, 1d6 or whatever. So I'm not super concerned. Ron Sour is uh, not bad. Pierce and slash. Reach two-handed. It's actually a really nice weapon, but I want to leave the throne. Okay, well, I want to sit on the throne, actually. Body ability increased, spirit ability increased, melee and ranged skill increased. The throne has a mind of its own. You managed to overcome its will. You feel powerful. That was a nice little boon. That was a really nice boon. Hostile creature. Let's swap to our ranged. Oh, a germalane. Yeah. They are currently sleeping. Did I, like, crit hit them? I did. That's why they, they instantly ran away. We have a tele... Okay, so this uh, should take me to the shop. There's a chance that the portal to Carrillo on the dun current dungeon floor is destroyed after three visits. Okay, so let's check it out once. It'd be nice to check this out. I've, I, uh, this is new to me. Welcome, you've entered Carrillo, our little trading uh, demiplane. I am Waldemar, the bouncer of this place. There are currently two shops of, uh, active in the smaller area, and there's also a Tomb Raiders Guild operating. In this main area, there are several containers where you can store your personal items. And, of course... We have a tavern with free beer. We have but one rule. Do not cause trouble. Nice. We have some iron golems. I'm sure you can like try and rob this place. Well met friend. The beer here is free. Can you believe it? I'm never going back to adventuring or even home for that matter. That does sound pretty good. What are you doing in my room? Get out. Okay. How does one uh, buy beer? Uh, there is right tankards and trolls That's a traveler get out I don't know what I'm doing here This place is the seventh heaven for all I know you only live once so why not spend it here? A nice face a new face grab a seat. I Wonder do I get a chair? Can I like get in the chair fancy a beer my lord? Uh, I don't know how to like Okay, middle mouse button is interact. Here we go. What do you need? Um, I wanted to get a beer, but apparently I can't so I was promised free beer and I'm not getting it We have a bed here. Can I interact with the bed? No Okay, I like the design of this place. The this, the design in Zorbus is quite cool. I gotta say uh, We have a Mercane warrior our tall blue skin creature with spidery hands. They're usually dressed in volu voluminous robes. Marcanes are interplanar merchants selling weapons, magic, uh, and other treasure. Nice. Well met, Tiefling. I hope you come in peace. We are Marcanes, uh, interplanar merchants dealing in weapons, magic, and other treasure. Check the goods um, on the table if you wish to trade. Oof. That is. 
very expensive goods. Uh, I don't have a lot of Zorbits. I'm assuming I can't... I, I, this thing is worth 33, so I don't have, like, you know, any money or trade to deal with. Uh, I shouldn't have come here until I had something better. Captain's Shield. You, this is, like, straight up buy Captain America's shield. That's kind of fun. Scroll of Disjunction. Separates enchantments from the main hand weapon of the active weapon set into separate enchantment scrolls. Okay. Wand of Summon Animals. I can buy a trap. That's all I can buy right now. Uh, I could buy some arrows of acid, actually. That would be nice. Is this, if I buy this, am, am I getting 20 arrows or just the one? Um, well, I bought some anyway. How many did I get? I got nine, so they were like a lot of money each, and I spent all my money. Fine. That's fine. Um, so I can only come here like two more times on this floor. I have to wonder if maybe I can come here uh, again um, on this, the, the future floors. Look, mistress, a rogue. It smells and looks disgusting. Yes, mistress, no finger pointing at customers, not even at rogues. So what's the deal here? More weapons? I can buy more weapons. Very good. What about the guild mistress? Welcome to the Tomb Raiders Guild. Have a guild membership and card in your possession. Otherwise, the prices are doubled. We will be restocking our inventory as soon as our members raid the tombs of the dungeon, unless you manage to raid them first. Swap places. Okay, so we don't... Yeah, we can't we can't sign up for a membership. I was hoping honestly that there'd be a way of getting some quests here My favorite customer Arrow of poison holy arrow. I mean, maybe could be cool Uh, yeah, I mean uh, this is a neat place if you have any money to speak of but I do not And apparently they don't buy my other crap yeah, uh, okay, so that's what that 33 means. So the only thing I have of any value is that potion. Can we make friends? Dog is sleeping. No, we can't make friends. Okay, so... Well, at least I got to do something new. Dust method. Oh, we have a giant beetle. Cannot make melee attacks with your current weapon. All right, I was trying to shoot it, but that's fine too. Wow, that took a lot of hits. I guess because they were like in darkness and like around the corner. Empty. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's the Zorbo again. What do you mean gets hostile? These things are supposed to be nice. We actually got some experience for that. That that goes against my logic. Oh god. Uh, giant centipede, mostly harmless. Well. Excellent. 62 XP. Ouch. You spring an arrow trap, an arrow shoots out, you are damaged. The container was trapped. That's fine. Small shield. Uh, that's not going to be super useful to us since we're using a maul. We have a longbow. We already have a longbow. Humanoid bones. And 30 zor zorbits. There we go. That's that's what I like to know, to, to, to see. A hidden tomb. Is that it? Nothing to explore. We have explored the entire floor. Dang, I wonder what these sixes, th these numbers are. Is it just like a way, oh, I see. It's just a way of like hitting a button. So if I wasn't using the mouse. Okay, uh, that's a nice way of doing it. Carrillo, teleporter, teleporter. There's probably some more like secrets that I haven't found, but that's fine. Uh, let's go to the stairs down. There is no coming back, I know. I wish I could just like continue to uh, advance in a very easy dungeon, but that's not the case. Oh, he super ran away. Oh God, we are going to be surrounded in uh, no time. 
I've been killing morons like you all day and feel just a wee bit tired, but I guess I have the energy for one more kill. Ready? Let's do this. Lo I love how he can just like enter the room like that. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Um, I'm gonna die. Health surge. I am gonna die. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Um, what, what potion do we have? Flash, flask of extinguishing. Coat the act of ammunition. Well, that's not really what we want. I should have, uh, I guess I could have pulled out my, my big guns. Big ammo. Um, if I do that now, though, I will probably still die. Oh, God. We could actually pull out a clutch here. We're still dying. Oh, what are you talking about, Goblin Shaman? Oh my god. That seemed like a very untenable, uh, unwinnable situation, I have to say. I, I don't know what I could have done better there. I probably, there are many things I could have done better, but oh well. Uh, well, I guess that's going to do it for this episode. I don't mean to do like one playthrough is one uh, session, but I mean... It's a convenient place to, to end it, and uh, if I was to start a new uh, character, it would probably be another hour, at least. Um, so, but, in either way. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. Definitely throw some uh, tips in the comments if you're seeing obvious things that I'm doing wrong. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe hit that like button if you are enjoying the series. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.